today, today, my HXHF 120mm RGB fans came in today. Yes, they did. So let's get into the unboxing of them. Let's get into the specs. Let's go ahead and get into the presentation of these are wonderful, great fans. Now, these fans here will be going into the Dell Precision T3500. The two front fans are going to be replacing with the RGB because it got that grill up front that you can see through a little bit. And the little RGB lights are going to be flashing through. So let's get right into it. Now, this is a three pack. Three packs came into it. So let's go ahead and get right into the presentation of these are wonderful, magnificent fans. All right. Now, right off the bat, you can tell. Presentation is a little spot on. You know, it could have, you know, it, it, it is what it is. It's a clear, clear fan. Um, it's Dazzling Color X6 2100 RPM 25 dB. It projects the colors red, yellow, blue, green, and white. So it's just going to go ahead and do the rainbow effect constantly. You cannot shut them off. Let's go ahead and get into the unboxing of it. Now, know that I got three of them, so I'm just going to be doing one at a time. And then when I'm done, I'm going to be doing the presentation screws. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Now, these fans are land flow. They say it's 2100 RPM. It's dual ring. Off bat, the product of it is nice. It's dual ring. I like the fan, I like the fan color of it. You got the your little noise damper is already installed on set, so that's a big plus. Now the power connect of these fans, you can go four pin Molex or three pin connector. You can also use these fans as um CPU fan coolers, or you can just use them as case fans. Either or, you can use these on, on both sides. And you want to use them as a CPU fan cooler to add, add, add an extended go with your RGB fill in the case, or you can use these as case fans for the uh, for your PC case. Now, I'm going to open them. As you notice, the sound level is 20 to 32 dBA. The power connect is 3 pin or 4 pin Molex. How you want to go with it, it's up to you. The airflow is 38 CFM. These are hydraulic type bearing. So these are bearing hydraulic fans. So you know you got that oil pressure that goes into it. When that gets dusty, you know how that is. That's why I say we recommend that you clean your fans constantly. Get all that dust out your case. Go ahead and blow all the aesthetics off your fans. And You know, go ahead and keep everything nice, smooth, and clean. Now, what I'm going to do with the um with these fans and the T T3500 Dell Precision case, I'm gonna go, go ahead on and connect it up to a four-pin Molex connector that I have brought. So I'll be go ahead and presenting that into the um presentation when I fire up the fans. I'm going to be using only two of these, but I'm going to go ahead and pile all three of them up. These fans came off eBay for $19.99 for a pack of three. Now, you cannot go wrong with that. For a pack of three fans, you cannot go wrong with that. Just like I said, it has a colorful LED hollow dual, dual pin, so you got that going on perfectly. Um, lifetime of these fans is 2,000 hours. Correction, 20,000 hours. So these are going to last you about like a good seven to eight years down the line. Once the, the lifespan is up, you got to replace them. So for $19.99, these are not bad. I will be putting the link in the description below if y'all want to go ahead and purchase them. Now a whole case of six is going to bring you about $40. That's not bad. Um, just like I said, these are going into the T3500 Dell Precision case, so I'm going to go ahead and be doing that later on. Um, other than that, all the specs I said, 
Let's get it right into the presentation. Everything is all set up. Just like I said, I have a um, four pan to Molex connector up here. As you see right here, I got them all connected up. Now you go ahead and you can connect it all up together, daisy chain them together, and hook them up to a Molex if you are on a non modular plug set. But if you are on a modular plug set, you got to use the piece that you can. It's best recommended to buy a, a Molex adapter. So when you do your presentation, everything's going to be hitting back into your case anyway. So if you know how to do your cable management right, you ain't got to worry about nothing. Now, if you got them see-through cases like Corsair and everything, I recommend not to buy these fans. Go ahead on and go ahead on and get the um, product that represents the, um, the product presentation for your needs only. But for my needs and for what I'm putting in, this is great. So let's get right on into it. As you see, they are the colors as they expected to. You got a seven page color fan as they are. No radiant flow or anything. Now you can do that by buying the adaptive form, a three pan or a four pan adaptive form. And then you can go ahead and you can connect it up. Now these can be controlled a, a GRB if the controller is a RGB. If it's not, then this is the presentation you're going to get. Now, is there a good, great fan flow in the back? Go ahead and test that out right quickly. As y'all going to see, great fan flow. You know, for for 1200 to 2200 RPM. Now, if you connect these up as CPU cooler fans, you're going to go ahead and get the full max, which is 2200 RPM. As the box and the specification is set, but other than that, it got good airflow. You can't you can't go back with that though. Good airflow. They look very nice. I'm gonna turn the light off so y'all can see. They looks nice. Overall, they're not bad. I would recommend these fans for anybody that looks simple. Now these are great simple. I could go ahead and put these as CPU cooler fans. You know, in my case, or I could just use them as regular case fans. Now, if you don't want that, that that smooth or that rainbow feel look, the changing of colors, then this is good for you. If you like the change of colors, I recommend up here any case fans with the controller. Now, if you have um, addressable addressable RGB controller on your thing, I, I recommend that you get the same thing with the ARGB controller hub to it. Connect it to your ARGB headers or your motherboard, and then you're good to go. But for what it does, and for what I'm putting it in, this is great. Now, I will be putting a link in the description below. So, y'all can go ahead and purchase them. If y'all like them, y'all go ahead and purchase them. Other than that, I do think that these fans are great. I will recommend these fans for anybody who's doing a nice case fan doing the RGB thing like for my grandson these would be great for my grandson Bill because um it is what it is he's not but two years old so what do a two year old know about PC aesthetics and other than that but other than that he will be going homeschooling so if I do put these in his case soon he gonna love it. Um go ahead on and click on the link and purchase these friends if you like them. Um, thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching. This is a great, wonderful video. And peace. I'll see you in the next one.